I wanted to show a few enhancements that are coming up in Illuminated Cloud to the way that you can manage access to your organizations and, uh, and the way that you move metadata back and forth between Illuminated Cloud and those organizations. Pretty much since uh, Illuminated Cloud was introduced, there have been two ways that you could connect Illuminated Cloud to your organizations. Uh, one is just to create a new configured connection here and basically you just click here and then enter your credentials, uh, if necessary, your login URLs at the API version. And you could use that with, a, uh, with an Illuminated Cloud project against a, a DE org, a sandbox, a production org, uh, you know, anything like that. And the other, of course, is that you could create uh, you know, a scratch org to be used with Salesforce DX that does require that the Salesforce DX CLI is registered with Illuminated Cloud. Well, there's, uh, you know, there's, there are quite a few other ways that you can actually register connections. And in particular, uh, you know, OAuth is going to be a preferred way for those that want to centrally manage uh, their, uh, their credentials and not have them distributed out onto machines, even uh, in an encrypted form like Illuminated Cloud does with uh, the first type of connection that I discussed. And so uh, I've introduced uh, the ability to manage uh, OAuth connections within Illuminated Cloud. Once again, you will need to register the Salesforce DX CLI with Illuminated Cloud because really all it's going to do is drive web login flow uh, with the CLI and have the CLI uh, do things like access token refreshes and things like that. So let's take a look at how that might work. So I'm just going to click on this button. You can now see that there are three buttons up here for traditional, scratch org, and OAuth connections. And you can see that those icons are represented here in the, uh, in the connection list and all throughout the application. So we will just give this a name. I'll just call this uh, Scott Org and we can choose the organization type. The primary reason we do that would be to uh, automatically get a particular type of login URL, or if you have a specialized like my domain login URL to enter that. Uh, this is a DE org, so I'm just gonna choose development, and I'm gonna click OK. And because this is just driving the Salesforce DX CLI, it is gonna begin a web login flow uh, to get an OAuth token with your browser. And so it, this has been open in the browser. I'm just gonna go over here and authenticate. Now note that this particular org has previously uh, been authorized for use with Salesforce DX. So you're not going to see the prompt here to authorize it again. Instead, you're just going to see it log in. And if we return to Illuminated Cloud, what we should see in just a moment is that it shows that it is successfully authorized. The user that I logged in as, as the name that I provided, is now going to be the alias. Just click OK. It's going to use the CLI to get uh, information about the, the Salesforce DX connections again and fold them into Illuminated Cloud's uh, list of connections. And so now I'm logged into Scott.org. And that's available for uh, use in any uh, non-scratch org development uh, project. And uh, while I can't configure things like the org type and the credentials, because those, of course, are tied into the way that I logged in through OAuth, I can configure the other connection uh, uh, characteristics, things like the API version to use when communicating with the server. Uh, I can enable conflict uh, detection and the type of conflict detection. Um, uh, use parallel processing. If you are having trouble with, uh, with uh, chunked connections, you can turn on uh, the workaround for HTTP 411 is issue. Um, hopefully, very few people are having to do that, but it's there if you need it. But the point is, is you can actually uh, specify how this connection should be used. And uh, you click OK. And now, if I wanted, I can just go over here and use that connection, Scott.org, in my project. Say OK. And of course, Illuminated Cloud will then say, I need to do some things to wire this together. And we'll say, do you want to grab one of your existing um, uh, offline symbol tables and copy that so that you don't have to generate one? Yes. Uh, we'll set the SDK and then I'll just go ahead and skip uh, closing and reopening the project. So it gives you the ability to, uh, to use OAuth web login flow to, uh, to get Illuminated Cloud into any of your orgs and only have uh, the access token stored locally that's managed by the, uh, the Salesforce DX CLI, which you may well be using the exact same alias uh, in your uh, command line processes and such that are driving the CLI. So that's the first of the enhancements. Uh, there will be another one coming up uh, in another video about how to do uh, development against any org style development from Illuminated Cloud. Basically, development against a non-scratch org using the Salesforce DX uh, source form uh, representation of files in your file system with metadata decomposition and such. So I hope you find this useful, and uh, this will be released uh, very shortly, hopefully in the next week or so. Uh, just one of those changes I want to get a lot of burn in time on before I, I put it out there just make sure I don't uh, negatively affect anybody. Thanks a lot.